quantum logic gates a quantum logic gate or simply quantum gate is a basic quantum circuit operating on a small number of qubits there are they are the building blocks of quantum circuits like classical logic gates are for conventional digital circuits quantum gates are reversible unlike many classical logic gates quantum logic gates are reversible however it is possible to perform classical computing using only reversible gates for example the reversible toffoli gate can implement all boolean functions often at the cost of having to use ancilla bits the toffoli gate has a direct quantum equivalent showing that quantum circuits can perform all operation performed by classical circuits quantum computers work by applying quantum gates to quantum states the evolution of quantum state is restricted by the unitary property of quantum mechanics that is at the every op- operation of a normalized quantum state must keep the sum of all probabilities of possible outcomes at exactly one any quantum gate must thus be implemented as a unitary operator and is therefore reversible In previous parts we looked at all possible states a qubit could be in. We saw that qubits could be represented by 2D vectors and that they are states are limited. Where theta and phi are real numbers, in this video we will cover gates that operations the change a qubit between these states. Due to the number of gates and similarities between them, this video is at a risk of becoming a list. In atoms of co- in the atoms of computation we have came across some gates and used them to perform a classical computation an important feature of quantum circuits is that between initializing the qubits and measuring them the operations or gates are always reversible the reversible can uh, gates can be represented as matrices such as rotations around the blob sphere the poly gates you should be familiar with poly matrices we will see here how that the poly matrices can represent some very commonly used quantum gates the x gate the x gate can be represented by the poly x matrix to see the effect a gate has on a qubit we simply multiply the qubit state vector by the gate we can see that the x gate switches with the amplitude of the states in a qiskit in qiskit we can create a short circuit to verify this let's run this code as we have seen well now let's see the result here we used plot block multi vector which takes a qubit state vector instead of the block vector you we can indeed see the state of the qubit is scat vector 1 as expected we can think of this rotation by pi radians around the x axis of the block sphere the x gate is often a, called an not gate referring it to its classic analog classical analog the y and z gates similar to the x gate the y and z poly matrices also act as the y and z gates in our quantum circuits and unsurprisingly they also respectively perform rotations by pi around the y and z axis of the block sphere now we are going to do a code that displays a qubit state on a block sphere pressing one of the buttons will perform the gates on the qubit we let's run on this in qiskit we can apply the y and z gates to our circuit using a code now let's run this 